Hey there, it's Elliot. Have you ever found yourself staring at that frustrating iPhone lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock on your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch? Yeah, we've all been there. Now you might be wondering, is it worth trying those paid services or software to unlock my device? Spoiler alert, most of the time, it's not the best path to take. Sure, these services promise quick fixes, but they often come with a hefty price tag and no guarantees. Don't worry though, I'm here to show you a way better, totally legal and free alternative that's not only quicker, but guaranteed to work. So grab your device and let's dive into the world of unlocking your Apple gadgets the smart way. Quick heads up before we continue, I'm here to help those who own their gadgets but forgot their login details. No funny business or illegal stuff here. Let's keep it clean and stick to YouTube's rules. Awesome, let's dive back in. Let's talk about those services you've probably heard about for dealing with the iPhone lock to owner message. I know, it's a headache when your Apple device gets locked like this. Back in the day, I found myself in a similar pickle with my old iPhone. I tried everything under the sun before I learned about these lifesavers. So there's Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, Lock to Owner, and iUnlock app. These are some of the top players in the game for iCloud unlocking. They're known for being reliable and user friendly. Each of these services has its unique approach, but they all aim to solve that pesky locked issue. It's like having a tech savvy buddy who knows all the ins and outs of Apple's security. Now, before we dive deeper into how these services work, especially Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant, which is a real game changer. Let me tell you a bit more about why these options stand out. It's important to know that these unlock services typically only work in first world countries. If you're unable to access these services or prefer not to use them, don't worry, we've got you covered. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks for our viewers. Yes, you heard that right. To be one of the lucky ones, here's all you need to do. First, make sure you like this video. Next, hit the subscribe button. Stay connected for more helpful tips and tricks. Lastly, drop a comment below with your phone model like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. That's it. As soon as you complete these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly draw. Good luck. To start unlocking your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch, the first thing you'll want to do is open your browser. Whether you're on your phone or computer, head over to unlockhere.com. This site is pretty cool. It's an AI assistant powered web app designed to help you break free from any mobile phone restrictions. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the AI bot. He's your guide through this process. Let Nifty know you're looking for an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. You'll then choose your device type, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. Now it's time to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Here's a quick tip. iPhones always have an IMEI number. If you're unlocking an iPhone, this is what you'll use for some iPads and Apple Watches, particularly those with a SIM card slot or cellular capability, they'll have an IMEI. However, most of these devices will only have a serial number. To find this, press the sleep button on your lock device. Press it again and then tap the I on the bottom right corner. You'll see your device info pop up and then make sure to put that device info here to continue with the unlocking process. Next up, you'll need to enter some basic information to link the order to your account. Make sure this info is accurate as you'll receive an order confirmation via email. After you've entered your details, make sure to agree to the terms and confirm that you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. Before proceeding, complete a quick CAPTCHA by clicking I'm not a robot. Then you're ready to tap start process. Keep an eye on your email inbox for the confirmation code. Sometimes it might end up in the spam or junk folder, so be sure to check there as well. Once you've received the code, input it back on unlock here. Shortly after, complete the robot verification step and ensure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking process begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. 
and here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. To remove the lock from your device, you have two main options. Contact Apple support with the original invoice. This is key if you're the original owner. Simply reach out to Apple either online or via phone and let them know about your activation lock issue. Be ready to provide your original invoice as proof of purchase. Apple will need to see this to verify you're the legitimate owner. Once they do, they can assist in removing the iCloud lock. Next is reset your Apple ID on Apple's website. If you're the owner of the Apple ID linked to the device, this could work for you. Go to the Apple ID account page on Apple's website and look for the option to reset your password. You'll need to confirm your identity, perhaps by answering security questions or using a verification code sent to a trusted device. After resetting your password, log into your device with the new credentials to bypass the activation lock. These methods are straightforward. Just ensure you have the right details or documents before starting. Keep watching for more useful tips. If you're thinking about using iCloud Unlock software, remember it usually needs a Windows computer and may not work for everyone. The steps are simple. Find a good iCloud Unlock software. Be careful though, because some might not work and others could be risky. It's often safer to use an online service like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. They don't need downloads, so they're easier and safer, especially if you don't have Windows. Choose what's best for you, but always think about your computer and device safety. More helpful advice is coming up. A great alternative to remove the iPhone lock to owner message, especially if the seller is cooperative, involves a few simple steps on their end. Here's what they need to do. The previous owner should go to iCloud.com and sign in with their iCloud account. Once logged in, they'll need to click on Find iPhone. This option will show all the devices linked to their account. They should then select your device and click on Erase. This step will reset your device, clearing it from its locked status. Finally, they need to click on Remove from Account to completely disassociate the device from their iCloud account. Following these steps is crucial in unlocking your iPhone and getting it back to full functionality. Stay tuned for more helpful methods.